All right, I think that's uh, about enough time for people to file in. So, today, we are going to space. It's gonna be thrilling. There's all sorts of great things in space, like vacuum, and planets, and stars, and capitalism. Okay, maybe not that last one. But yeah, not that it isn't there, just uh, that it's certainly not great. In fact, in uh, the game we're going to play today, capitalism has ruined space. And we're about to find out just how badly it has done so. That's right. Today we are starting the much-awaited Outer Worlds. I had a look at the character creator last night. It's pretty neat. So, uh... The basic story behind this game is uh, it's an alternate future kind of thing where a particular presidential assassination didn't happen and history took a much different turn than it did in real life. You might note that that's the exact same premise as Prey. It's just the president that was killed is different in this one. Or rather, that isn't killed. So, this game is made by Obsidian. Uh, the people who made Fallout New Vegas. Excellent, excellent game, New Vegas. Although it is very janky. It's uh, usually janky in funny ways. So I, I like it a lot. New Vegas is uh, great. And this game is as... even... 75% as good as New Vegas. I think I'm going to be very happy with it. Don't know how much of it is going to wind up on stream, though. It might just be one of those things where I get so into it that I can't stop playing it. On my own. Well, without further ado, let's uh, let's get started and roll up a character. Uh, normal. I haven't played this before. Turn on all the subtitles, just in case you're watching on mute. That's good. All right. Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars? Come to Halcyon, the only colony on the edge of the frontier, owned and operated by corporations. A trip of ten short years will feel like mere minutes, thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. That sounds horrible. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon colony. Definitely not the fight, not uh, not the serenity. Morty, Morty, I'm going to space, Morty. This guy definitely looks like Morty, not Morty, like Rick. Ugh. of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. All right, and we are, uh, we're one of them. All right, so, if we were to enter the space corporate hell zone, or the corporate hell zone in space, depending on how you want to order the Order the adjectives. What would be the things that would be most important? Now, like corporate is definitely a thing, so I think we need uh, we need some personality. Like lying seems pretty good. Sneaking seems pretty good, and we need to do space stuff. So we definitely want to be uh, want to be smart. Gotta do that science. And 
and uh, what else? Maybe fast? Maybe a little more charming. Why sneak medical engineering determination? Uh, yeah, actually, let's get another point here. High charm. Gotta be good at the old Deceptorino. Uh, what else do we want to be able to do? I mean, this is going to be corporate space, so you know, lying, cheating, stealing all seem to be important things. And, you know, maybe you don't need to be so... Let's just hope you're handy with a gun. I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. Oh, this is so you can take penalties on all these to get more points to put in elsewhere. That's very interesting. Two-handed melee heavy weapons. Hmm. More strength? What if we're slower but stronger? Hmm. Nerve damage in your extremities. Oh, it lowers melee weapon attack speed. Okay, maybe... I mean, this is the first time I'm playing, so maybe we shouldn't take any penalties on our initial stats. Uh, but a little more perception would be nice. Weak spot damage. This is also dodge and engineering. Medical science. Hack. Persuade. Okay, so lie, intimidate, persuade. Lie, sneak. Termination. Five health regeneration per second. That seems like a lot. Normally you get two. Medical, engineering, determination. I don't know what all of these things are. Like, some of them are... Uh, some of them are pretty obvious, like persuade, lie, that sort of thing. Maybe it should be smarter. Charming, smart, reasonably perceptive. But maybe not the strongest or the fastest. Now, I'm trying not to just roll up Malcolm Reynolds, but it's, uh, it's kind of happening. Yeah, well, he's not really smart. More charm and temperament, I guess, than intelligent. I, I feel like intelligent is more like, uh, like the doctor. Exception. At least you don't have rickets. Yet. Oh, what, what if I just do this? I just hope your brain's quicker than your hands. And just put the extra points into all of this stuff and go high on everything here. How high can you get? Charismatic enough to give the chairman a run for his bits. Well, that's interesting. Maybe this is just going to be high. Durability loss is increased. I don't know. Uh, all right, let's let's not take penalties. Uh, let's do smart. Temperament. Do we need to be have temperament? Oh dear! Did you actually punch out your anger, counselor? No health regeneration. So I guess in this case we'd have to heal entirely off of items. I don't know about that. Maybe it can just be average, and we can either be really charming enough to give the chairman a run for his bits, or really smart. You memorized how many digits of pi? <laughs> um. Hmm. I get that extra. say that we are intelligent, perceptive, and charming. And uh, above average, about average everywhere else. Yeah, we'll go with that. Okay, so we get two skill points here. I'm pretty sure these numbers are based on what we picked in the last one. So, like, Persuade, we're already 
have a base skill unlock. Humans have a 20% chance to cower in fear for three seconds after the first time you hit them. <laughs> okay. Hmm. We got lies. Lying is good. Intimidation. Sneak. Health. Lockpick. Tech. Inspiration. Get order companions to do special attacks. Inhaler heals you and companions, but they get 30% of the effect. Uh. Alright, why don't we do some. Scramble. Oh, we can confuse machines. That seems pretty good. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be more guns. TDD location hit effects. I, I don't know what half of this stuff means. But it seems good. Yeah, let's take a point in dialogue. You could probably talk your way out of a landing ticket. Which one dialogue significantly increases persuade, lie, and intimidate skills? Up to 50 points each. At 50, you can specialize by adding points directly to persuade, lie, or intimidate. Yeah, that seems good. Uh, what else should we do? Should we do stealth? Tech? Ooh, repair abilities. Science. Prove my things. Huh. I want leadership. Well, I don't think I'm going to start the game with companions. Like, that doesn't seem likely. That you're just going to start with a full crew and everything. Because we're just getting out of cryo-freeze here. So I should pick something that helps me. Dialogue definitely helps me personally. So I'm thinking it's either going to be... Uh, stealth... Tech. I mean, if I pick tech, I can get things, like, instantly. Why don't we go with tech? At last, a kindred spirit. And I feel like we've we actually just made the doctor at this point. Except violent. So, I guess we're more Captain Jack. Yeah, Jack Harkness, that's, that's who this is, I think. That's who we've rolled up. All right, aptitude just gives you a bonus point somewhere. Uh, let's see. What seems fun? Elevator operation specialist. Farmer. Dirt. Food additive tester. Janitor. Oh, good. Tossball team mascot. Finally here. I can be the Philadelphia fanatic. Or maybe not. I don't want to be the fanatic. I don't want to be gritty either. Gritty scares me. Plasma damage received minus 3%. Science. Plus 1. What's my science at? Oh, my science is at 30. I don't think I need the science plus 1. One-handed melee plus 1. Uh, how about safety inspector? Get that minus three plasma damage. Safety inspector. Oh, they must have meant bribe collector. Yeah, that's right. Bribe me. Give me all the cash. Uh, let's see. Uh, I am dude. Not that dude, though. I think I'm more like that one. And my eyes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's good. That Those are space eyes. I like it. Move those eyebrows apart. Look concerned all the time. Yep. Sure. This game's first person. I don't know why we're doing this. Let's just say that's okay. 
and maybe get some better hair. Yeah. Little, uh... Yeah, that seems okay. Unibrow. Uh... Oh, no. I just realized, you know who this is? I, I'm looking at him right now, and it's... My... I hope I'm not going crazy, but... It's kind of him, isn't it? The eye color gives him gives it away. Gives it away. Well, since we're going to be doing plenty of villainy, I guess this can uh, this can be Hubert. Everybody just loves him. Features. Dirt. <laughs> oh, what do you mean it's not a rising scale of dirt? I was expecting dirt on a scale of one to ten, not ten different patterns of dirt. Alright, uh, there, there we go. That looks like a guy that's done some evil. Maybe been around a, l a little while. Not, not a child. Just space. Yeah. That'll be fine. And uh, somehow this has turned into Hubert, so uh, here, here he is. Spacer's Choice is dying to meet me, I'm sure. Alright. He looks like some kind of, uh... If you use that Face Fusion app, that was all the rage a while back, and did a Face Fusion between, like, like a Triple Fusion, we're talking like Shin Megami stuff. The, like the SMT Triple Fusion between Hubert, Matt Smith, and Nathan Fillion, I think you come up with this guy. And he's a liar, and a cheater, and a science man. And that's how it's going to be. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend. Not likely, bootlickers. Ugh. Initiate skip jump. Is he three times as powerful? It's, uh... It's the average of their levels. Take the average of their levels, and then you go on the chart, Shit. and you find the closest demon on the chart to the average of the levels for uh, what type he is. I don't know what type he is, though, so who knows what we're getting. Warlock, Time Lord, Outlaw. Could be anything. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah, we'll see. Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but... I oh yeah, his alignment is definitely chaotic. More. Like, if, if I don't aim to misbehave, I'm doing it wrong. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. 
Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! <laughs> Whoa. Oh no, I'm going to space. Alright, well hopefully I survived the trip through space. Because I almost didn't the first time around, so like, you know, get me out of the freezer and everything. Features take extra damage from plasma. Bad guys too close to shoot, use quick and neatly. Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing. Grace! He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one of a kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him. Oh, I'm good, sure. it's not Han Solo. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm all the colonists are counting on you. Oh, this must suck. Re entry in a pod. Now we ain't in space anymore. He's dead. Him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. No, he's super dead, man. Oh, well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Can I won't him? mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Yeah, well, now he doesn't have a head, Shame so you don't have to worry about that. Thing. Nasty way to go can't even loot him. Like, he's so dead that his possessions have been liquefied. Like, there's nothing to be taken here. That is, uh, that's unfortunate. This place, though, this place is gorgeous. This is some good space. Oh, yeah, I got, like, a planet with the rings? That is extremely my thing. Oh, I love it. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's do a little exploring. We got a jump button. Love that jump button. What else have we got? We got cool space creatures. I thought I thought, saw a lizard. I'm not seeing the lizard anymore. Oh, we got fire. Yeah, maybe this is California if things are just on fire. Yeah, there we go. There's a space thing. What what are you, little space friend? Oh, he's gone. He's zooming away. This guy alive. If he's even alive. Let me just check. You alive, dude? I don't think he's alive. I think he's dead. Well, I stole his things, so uh, that's good. Oh, and we got the grass from Horizon Zero Dawn, so that's good. I know all about the, the red, tall grass. I don't know what that is. Timid Canid. I guess it's a wolf. Okay, well, they saw me. That's, uh... That's fine. <laughs> Space tourists. Alright. Well, that's good. I like it when... Easy now. You've been 
frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I love it when my vision goes all blurry and turns purple. That's healthy, I'm, I'm told. It's, it's a sign that you got a lot of beta carotene in your system and your eyes are great. Emergency medical and heal, heal. Don't I also heal naturally? I do, right? It's the menu. Oh, well, here we go. Uh, let's see. Armor management. Yep. There's, there sure is armor in this RPG. Oh, this makes me smarter. Improves all my tech skills. Nice. Yeah, I think it has something to do with the temperature. You just get that brain freeze, and then it makes you psychic. And your vision purple. It's cool. Hey, Jen. We're going to space. Are you ready for capitalism? In space? I am. Uh, let's see. I've got an inhaler. I've got, like, space asthma or something. That's good. Yeah. Alright, well, I guess I will, uh... Yeah, it heals pretty good. Love that healing. There's a dude. It's all this. Hey, you. Come here. All right, guy. Who are you, uh, guard? You try the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Oh, well, let's see. Hmm, guard Pelham. Uh. Well, I have some basic medical skills, so uh, let's start. Let's get some allies. Let's do medical. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Space's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Yeah, no, that's good. That's good. How you feeling, dude? Better, thanks to you. I might have bled out on my own, or worse, had to go begging the boss for some Madrina time. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills, thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired, right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Oh, this guy's kind of pathetic. I don't think we can associate it with him anyways. Like, he's not going to be cool enough for our uh, space crew. Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with the same Oh, shot. man, this guy is Not full bad. of bad ideas, ain't he? You know what? Uh, hmm. Yeah, you know, dude, you know, you're hurt. You're, you're talking crazy. I, I think you should give me the gun. And I will go and... Definitely not go steal a spaceship. I will get help. Yes, help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. Oh, a sword. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed at that time. Oh, dude, you are gonna die alone and in a cave. You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. That's right. Edgewater's a little ways down. A uh, pretty place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous Saltuna. Uh, great. Bye. <laughs> I just have a gun. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, well, uh, this is mine now. Tartarus sauce. Bread. No, I don't need bread. But I like that lock lock pick. Alright, so I need to I need to save this guy from himself. So we're just gonna take take this. Just give me that. Got anything else, buddy? No? Alright, I'm gonna Can I move this without blowing it up? I don't think so. 
Oh, what is her character's name? Uh, it is... It's Hubert. Yep, it's Hubert. It's uh, up there in tiny, fine print in the top left of the menu screen. All right, now let's get to the good stuff. When, when in space, you have to shoot and cause explosions. I don't know, man. I'm experiencing... Oh, tactical time dilation. Let's see. Uh, standing still drains your tactical time dilation very slowly. Oh, you get bullet time. Okay, so the VATS that's normally in Fallout is replaced with kind of bullet time. That's cool. Alright. We're gonna we're gonna get this guy. He's uh he's gonna be super dead and he's not gonna hey, let me equip a sword first. I have a feeling that I might have to duel somebody. Okay, I can have four weapons equipped. Okay, let's get that sword up here. And then Yep. He dead now. Uh, what's block? Is this block? Oh, cool, okay. So I can sword people and shoot people. There's a dodge. Oh, well, that's neat. And, okay, what, what's my new item? I have, I have no idea. Okay, but I'm gonna rob this dude if possible. Eh, maybe not. Where's where's the other guy? Surely he hasn't just vanished. Mac and cheese. Bunch of nanners. Yeah, give me the bananas. I love bananas. Hack and lockpick gets you into places you're not meant to be. Oh, I, that sounds exactly up my alley. I love that. Uh, Magpix break locks, bypass shunts, hack things. Your skills high enough to break the security. Oh, good. So there's no there's no like weird mini games. It's just you know you either do it or you don't. Ooh, this needs four. Is there anything else around here first? Fish sticks. Fish sticks. I, I don't know about that. It's got a porta potty right there. It's great for being in space. I'm I'm looking for the other guy though. Like I, I definitely shot a second dude and he's just ready to go. He's been consumed by the wilderness. That was fast. Well. All right, let's try out our uh, lock picking skills. Yeah, staff. Be, be like a space ranger, like. Oh, uh... well, who's the guy from Babylon Five who uses the stick? about this thing. Let's, uh, oops. Let's, oh no, I can't remove it because I'm wielding it. I'm gonna stick with sword and gun for the moment. Oh, here's the other dude. How do you, how do you get over here? Stealth skills plus five. Nation suit. Stealth skills plus five. Tech skills plus five. Uh, 
This is a little better. But I like my tech skills. Gonna be good at uh, handy stuff. Hmm. Marauder Vandal. Very, very quiet. Hunting vandals. Hey, get up! No! Stop! Ah! All right, let me get up there and like sword this dude. I don't know how much ammo I really need to waste on this guy is block his bullets with my sword. Surprise! I much prefer swords. They are, uh... They're a lot more personal. Also, I'm going to steal this guy's arm. rest of his body have anything, or is that all that's left? Nope. Just arm. Ah. Oh, this causes bleeding, too. That's, that's nice. I think. I mean, presumably bleeding is good. It's been a good status effect to inflict on other people in basically every game I've ever played. Especially Darkest Dungeon. Man, I wonder when we're going to get a release date for Darkest Dungeon 2. That's, uh, that's one of my most, look most anticipated games, I'd say. Oh, put on this helmet, right? One-handed melee plus five. There we go. Oh, it's, uh, I'm the guy from Dead Space. That's a Dead Space helmet, right? Yeah. I like it. And my one-handed melee skills have gone up. Yeah, there's totally going to be a uh, Darkest Dungeon 2. Alright. I'm going to swash some buckles here. But, uh... Lieutenant Mercer. I, I don't want to talk to them. They look like, uh... They look like the fuzz. I think I'm going to avoid them. Let's just go over here instead. Let's see. You got any... Yeah, well, that looks like a good spaceship. Let's steal it. Like, hell yeah, let's steal a ship. It'll be great. That is exactly how I want to start my Grand Space Adventure. With Grand Theft Spaceship. Guess I gotta take out the Marauders first. Does Hubert have a license? Hubert is an outlaw. He doesn't care for things like licensing and safe operations of motor vehicles. Like, look at this guy. I'm just going to walk up and stab this guy in his back. Let's get a little bit of healing. Okay, the slow-mo thing is pretty good.
Oh, 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 I lost him. He thinks this will help, but it won't. Stabbing time. And apparently I, uh, I killed a wolf. That's probably a crime. Oh no, I didn't kill that wolf. That, that other guy did. That's right. Wasn't me. You, uh, you can't prove it. You can't prove anything. I'm having a really bad time finding dead guys. It's the cops. What do I do? What do I do? Let's just act natural and just go in the ship. Please be informed that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. The unreliable, huh? <laughs> Smile for my surveillance device, Marauder. I am tracking your every move. Yeah. You do that, computer. You just track. Uh, got some stairs. Got some room. Yeah, this looks like a bridge. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. You're a crime. Hello. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Oh. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. Lady, that's a that's a nice it's a nice red eye terminator thing you got going on there, but you're a face on a screen. What what are you gonna do? Genesis procedures initiated. Please engage the airlocks. Uh -huh. Those are some angry eyes, I'll, I'll give you that, but Spaceships don't have ejector seats. You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express uh -huh. disappointment. Yeah. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Sorry. He's, uh, he's super dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Super dead. He's also an idiot, and that's why he's dead. But main point, dead. Orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? Okay, I I get you, computer lady. I I'm we're starting to think on the same wavelength here. This is good. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain That's me, intact. Hubert Hawthorne. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Well, I'm not a I'm not a doctor. Rather, I'm not a miracle worker or something like that. I'm just observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? That's right, Alex Hubert Hawthorne. That's me. All right, we, we all got that, right? Alex Hubert Hawthorne, that, that's, that's who we are. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. That's a good point. There's, oh, that's loud. That's a level up though, I'll, I'll take it. Been promoted, level up. You've gained an ex enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Gives you health, upgrade skills, new perks every other level. 
All right. Well, that's good. That's a good point. There's, uh, the way this computer works is every chance that, you know, with the original Alex Hawthorne died ages ago. All right. Every time you level up, you get skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a course bill improves all of the specialized skills to a maximum of 50. Then you have to add them directly. Special unlock bonuses occur every 20 points. Read the skill description, see what they are. Oh, this is important. Status effects. Armor consumables and status effects temporarily raise or lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks and passive bonuses, but you don't lose the unlocks. That's good information. Well, I could achieve middle management, or I could just burn everything to the ground. Guess which one's more fun? All right, uh, let's see. What should we do? We could do, uh... We could do ranged weapons. Dodge. Oh, I get 10 points? Oh, they all go one at a time instead of ten at a time. I get it. <laughs> a cursed blade, but it's a spaceship. Yeah, it is kind of like that, huh? All right, let's uh, let's improve our stealth a little bit, or like a lot, a bit. Still don't have. Let's get some points to make our lock picking better. The things requiring just one will be free. And then let's put some points into guns. Yeah, that seems all right. Uh, yep, we'll take that. Perks screen you get to choose which perks to buy. You get a new perk point every two levels. You can also get them through gameplay, such as by accepting a flaw. Okay, so flaws are an interesting thing. I read about this a bit, where if a bunch of stuff happens, like you can add something to your character sheet, like in D&D &D or something, like a negative thing, but you also get a point. That's pretty cool. Let's see, we can increase our health, slow the world, get more tactical time dilation. Lone Wolf, 25% up when alone. Walk speed. Sprint speed. Walk speed seems like it might be something nice just for convenience, but not necessarily useful. Let's see. Maintenance. Precision. Companion crit chance. That doesn't make sense. Uh, negotiator. Oh, vendor price is down. That seems all right. Deadly demonstration. More experience from your companions. Killing. Mm. Traveler. Can fast travel while encumbered. Hmm. Deformed OP route. Well, I'm trying to think of, you know, what's the, what's the craziest broken thing I can do? More ammo, resilient, plus five base armor rating. Uh, I'm kind of thinking lower vendor prices. This seems like the kind of thing that if you get it at the beginning of the game, you just get maximum value out of it throughout the course of the game. So thinking about it... Yeah, thinking about it, this seems like the most useful thing offhand, so I'll I'll take that. Alright, details. Needed to level 6,000 experience, wow. Print speed, crouch speed. Merchant skill. Buy and sell for merchant. The highest of your dialogue skills is used to negotiate for the best price. Interesting. Reputation, I guess these are all the factions in the game. Like in Fallout. Oh, but there's also secondary ones. Oh, cool. There's going to be a lot of stuff to uh, take a look at in this game. And let's see. Uh, let's take a look at our new ship. We got it. 
Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. Ooh. So I get a room at some point. Well, that's exciting. Well, what else we got? That's all doors, I suppose. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. Uh, let's see. Well, this place is pretty nice. It also looks almost exactly like the room on, from on the Serenity. This is very... There's a lot of Firefly influence in this game, and I like that a lot. I, uh... Eat base health plus 25. I really liked Firefly, and... A lot of what I saw in the trailers and stuff for this game made it seem like the closest thing you would ever get to a game set in that universe. I am very happy with everything I've seen so far. I'm having a, a lot of fun already, and that's right, our initials are ah! <laughs> It's the Tim Curry thing. Ah! <laughs> Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. This computer kind of reminds me of GLaDOS, but not evil. I don't think we need to respec yet. I don't think I've managed to screw up the game reparably thus far. And one of the good things is, like, apparently they've, they've spent a lot of time making sure that you can't screw up the game irreparably, and that it finds ways to just go on, no matter what you do. So, uh, my understanding is that you can actually just kill anybody you want in this game. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. Okay. Got parts? I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. Sawed off shotgun, okay. Any weapon or armor items is broken and at minimum effectiveness. Keeping your company kept up gear is expected. Something you carrying needs repair. Players with engineering skills can repair the gill gear without the need of a workbench. Repairing returns it to 100% durability and full effectiveness. Okay. Uh, what gear needs it? Condition 100, 93. Ninety point six, ninety three five. Sawed off shotgun. Ah, I see. okay. This is the thing that is. Uh, you thought Hammersmith's tactical shotgun gun <laughs> was hard to aim? Wait till you try this out. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Eight times twelve damage. Or just straight up 20 damage. Um, yeah. Let's, oh no. We got to repair this first. Okay, well I probably don't need this stuff. We'll just break those down. I'll keep the mace. It's unique. I don't have a mace, but, uh. Yeah, that seems right. Wait, two, one, five, one, three. You know, maybe we'll try to sell. This thing's valuable. This mace? Yeah, we should sell that, given the chance. Alright, repairs. How do we do engineering? Each screen first, select the thing you want to work on and what you want to do. Okay. I want to have a shotgun that works. That's a uh, repair. Damage 8 to 14, gotta use 16 weapon parts. Okay. Nice. Now, what else can I do? Oh. Uh, I guess I can't do much here. Knockback. Modify. What else? Uh, no weapon mods yet. Okay. Oh, I have not, uh, I have not equipped my shotgun. Cool.
cool. Well, I think that's everything around the ship. Seems kind of small for now, but I like it. It's a good ship. It's mine. <laughs> All these things are mine. Oh, I got a hold. Hang on. All right, bye. Say, this wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister, you owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. Ah, uh, you know, lady, you just screwed up. That's actually gonna come out of your pay because I am a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to go do not that. Too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Okay, but don't steal my ship. That I definitely didn't steal because it, it was mine all along. Oh, now you can see it. There it is. There's the town. Man, this game is really pretty. There it is. Space! I like this planet with the rings. And the aurora and stuff. This is, this is great. Yeah, I just want to kind of... Let's go up on this mountain. And just take a look at space. Todd tells me... If you see a mountain, you should climb it. One of the biggest mountains over there. Oh, listen to that music too. That's fantastic. Yeah, I really like this game. So what's happening over here? Got some hooligans. Now, what's a little murder on our way to do more lying and cheating? This is the wild, wild west of space. That didn't go the best. I am perhaps not a fighter. But uh, there's not exactly any options to lie to these guys. <laughs> it's got a thing, so... Assault rifle. Yeah, that seems all right. Uh, I don't, I don't think I have any heavy weapons, so not a whole lot. Is Hubert's line crafty, foolish, or compulsive? Hmm. Uh, the, well, the way I'm gonna play it is he's just gonna lie constantly. Like he can't, he can't stop himself. He's just gonna say whatever. Uh... No, actually, no. How? He will, he will always say what benefits him the most. I think that's how we're going to play it. Is you know, whatever has the most personal benefit is what he's going to go with. So however you categorize that is, uh, I think it's going to work. We 
There's these dudes. Like someone's gonna get blown away with a shotgun. I think what I want to do is sneak up on this guy with the... Oh, they've got a dog. Well, that's not good. It's like, it's this guy that I'm worried about. Because this guy goes over there. It'd be nice if this dude would also go over there. Maybe what I have to do is go take out that dude that's over on the other side, and then when somebody comes to investigate, just donk him. Yeah, this Hubert also liked experience points. He was uh, he was always kind of under leveled in my uh, in my playthrough of Fire Emblem. So he's just gonna go after stuff as best he can. This is what junk. Ooh, that's good to sell though. That that's worth a lot. It's worth a lot as well. saw nothing. Nothing and nobody. There's nothing here. This dog's gonna poop. Oh, the shotgun's crusting out the audio. Well, you know, between the, the the time skip years and you you running away, dude? He's running away. There, dude, I think he's still out there. Nice. That's a good, good amount of experience. He's got a rifle too. That uh, that could be useful. I 
Let's see, rifle. Extendo sight. All oh, this thing's got a modification. I, uh... Yeah, this could be useful. Heavy magazine stagger. Assault rifle. We'll, uh, we'll work. I'll work on this at some point. I'm just kind of getting used to the weapons I already have now, so I don't think I need to add a bunch of new types in. We'll just stick with this for the moment. But also plunder. Oh yes, that's good. Uh, it takes four to open. Yeah, shoot, and it doesn't work. <laughs> That's a pain. I guess it was a little bit of wishful thinking to think I could just shoot open the locks on a future space box. But, oh well. Oh, uh, who else is dead now that I can rob? Him? Yeah. Already robbed a dog. Is there another guy? I feel like I blasted a guy somewhere back here. Maybe not. Oh, lockpick. Good. I made like kind of a tree fort up here. So, uh, let's see. Medicine, medicine. So I have another slot here. Uh, sugar drink, body attributes plus one, last 30 seconds. Plus 200% natural health, last two minutes. That seems good. So, I guess in the, in the space future, you can... You can inhale bananas. Like Kirby. That means this game is family friendly. For all ages. <laughs> Necklace. Yes. I'll take that. That's worth big money. Uh, what else? Apple juice? I don't know. I don't really want apple juice. Much more of an orange juice fan. That's a pretty good orange juice today. Yeah. Send a sight. Oh, this is perfect. There's so much stuff. It's all mine. By the laws of space, these things are mine. Is that everything? I think that's about everything. Well, we've taken care of the Marauder problem. Whether it wanted to be or not. Let me just make sure I can't get in back of here. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Bunch of manners seem like they came from Steins Gate. <laughs> uh, I hope not. Those, uh, the gel bananas are... Pretty gross. I don't think I want to inhale those. Anyway, that's enough of a detour. Let's uh, go back to stargazing. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good space. Behemoths. Well, if I know anything from Final Fantasy, we don't want to fight behemoths. Let's just uh, very carefully avoid their territory. And continue on our merry way. Oh, but there's a cave. 
I love a good cave in RPGs. I'm gonna go in the cave. As long as that's a rock and not a lion, I think we'll be fine. Yeah, these are space behemoths. Of course they can cast Meteor. Like, yeah. That good landmine action. Kidding me, right? You just need two to pick a safe? Criminal activities. Trespassing, lockpicking, hacking, and murder are all considered illegal activities and are frowned upon by society. Avoid being seen if you want to engage in these activities without consequence. I don't think anybody saw me, right? Yeah, nobody saw this. You in chat, you definitely didn't see anything. You got that? There's been no theft, no murder. I definitely did not, did not set off any landmines. There's nothing. Nobody got nothing on me, no how. I don't want to go to Pollutionville. This looks a little too much like the 405. Well, that was most unpleasant. I wasn't expecting to be attacked immediately upon exit. Oh well. Guess I just ran into another... another camp of some sort. Transport wreckage discovered. Yeah, I am, uh... <laughs> I am not good... not good at combat in this game. I wasn't good at combat in Fallout, either. It's kind of a cool looking place. I guess this is a town? Well, those are just enemies. I'm just gonna go over here and not fight them. I, you know, I, I don't need any more blood on my hands at the moment. Like, I think I'm good on the blood front. Got lots of, uh... Lots of empty houses, huh? all this stuff. Yeah, hey, maybe I'll roam around here a little bit and see if there's any good plundering to be had. Nobody's out here, right? So it's, uh, it's all up for grabs. It's common property. And the thing that it has in common is that it's mine. Very careful and not trot over anyone's graves. But 
I will take this money. Space graves. Then Star Trek where they shoot you into a supernova in a photon torpedo case. I'm home. It's no one's home. I'm home. Oh. Dompe, is this is this your place? I don't need to actually rob this guy, I don't think. Let's see. Messages. Uh, your subscription has expired. Oh, it's an ad. I don't need that. Uh, spacious choice. Complimentary eulogy, courtesy of the Order of Scientific Inquiry. Oh. Yeah, this is messed up. I don't, uh... I don't know. I want to have anything to do with this. Password required. Yeah, I don't need that. That's fine. I'm not going to waste my hack on somebody's diary. I mean, why do that when I can just go to the inventory and read someone's diary? Let's do it. I've got a uh, journal of M. Bacanu. Let's inspect it. There's some Resident Evil looking models. Or maybe I can't actually read it. That's a little, a little disappointing. All right. Let's, uh, let's visit town. See what can be seen. Probably not going to play too much more. I do got to be in bed at a reasonable time. It is a work night after all. I know, I know. It's a game about capitalism and fighting it, but unfortunately, uh, my everyday life is still a slave to it. I will lower my weapons. I don't want to be seen as hostile. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. What's up? What is up, resident? Hey, Maybe. All right. Well. Basis choice cantina. Yeah, let's visit the cantina. That's always good for some, uh... For some knowledge. Lots of folks chilling out, getting trashed. You read the latest report? Only the part that said we ain't making our quotas. If only McDevitt's folk hadn't abandoned us, Cannery could use those extra hands. Nothing we can do about that. Yeah, there is. We can have another zero G. know you uh-huh the unreliable you say never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name I don't know what you're about but this here is a spacers choice drinking establishment we're all loyal hard-working company folk here yeah they're boring is what they are Uh, 
Let's see. So are we going to be perceptive or charming? I, I don't feel a need to be rude to this person. But it seems like something's going on, so let's uh, let's investigate. <laughs> Am I that easy to read? Yeah, we've been having some problems lately. Loyalty issues, lines in the sand. I know where folk in Edgewater stand, but you, I don't know you. Nope. If you're gonna have a drink, I'd like to ask that you do it within the premises. Can't have you taking drinks over to those deserters. Mmm, deserters, huh? Yeah. Coming right up. Merchant skill. Okay, so merchant skill is equal to the value of that dialogue skill. Negotiate prices. Cool. All right, what do they got? Let's see. Dehydrated water tablets. That's horrific. Tease, mind attributes, plus one. Uh, let's get a 22% discount, too. This stuff's expensive. Oh, I think Hubert is the tea type. I'm gonna sell our junk. That helps. Okay. Let's, uh... Let's buy a tea. Now I want to hear oh, about some forgot. dirties. I'm contractually obligated to recite company slogans to any visitors. You tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Great. I felt like chatting Go a bit. ahead. What's your story? I don't see how that's any of your business. Yeah, just trying. You're the first to ask after me in some time. I'll give you that. But I don't have a story to share. My family's worked Spacer's Choice for two generations, and I've lived in Edgewater just about all my life. Wanted to work in the sciences once upon a time. Would you believe it? That was a wild fancy. Glad yeah, I Twitch bits are myself. the currency of the future, that's correct. What happened, you ask? What always happens when you're dreaming? I woke up. I just didn't have the brains for it. Asked too many questions. Wasn't suited to the work. So I did the right thing and worked the life I was always meant to live. Hmm. Now that I'm behind a bar, I can ask all the questions I want. Important ones. Like, when are you going to pay your tab? And would you like another round of cold, refreshing zero-G? Yeah, well, I mean, the best scientists do ask too Don't many. talk to me that way, please. Spent many years disabusing myself of that notion. Don't need you putting it back in my head. No, I'm definitely not mm. trying to cause unrest well, ain't for me. or anything. Never was. Never will be. Spacer's Choice put me where I belong. And for that, I am grateful. But I'm kind of not a fan of this Spacer's Choice. They did. They gave me a life. Gave me a purpose. This is where I belong. Not so fast. I told you about my life. Your turn to tell me about yours. So, what's your story? What's there to figure out? Stands the reason you work for a company. You ain't Spacer's choice. Could be you're with Auntie Cleo. You're one of those freelancers then? Running about Halcyon, selling off your loyalties to the highest bidder? Yeah, that sounds about right. Well, good luck trying to figure yourself out. Sounds like you'll need it. All right. Huh. What's this? Taste the freedom. 
Well, hell yeah, we can taste the freedom. I love the the. It's a hollow sign. Space's choice is a wholly owned subsidiary of Universal Defense Logistics. So that's good to know. Gotta investigate the uh, the old restroom. No barf button. And yeah, everything's pretty nailed down. That's unfortunate. Alright. It's daytime. <laughs> uh, let's see. All right. Well, I figured the cantina would be the uh, best place we got here. General store. That's always nice. So, what's that? Going, but I don't know what it is. Cash register, I guess. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. <laughs> and before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. Need to fix a ship. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above the cannery. That's good information. Music to my ears. Impact hammer. Alright, so let's sell some stuff. Uh, what have I got? Weapon rise. Like this shovel. Yeah, I don't need this. I don't need, like, extra swords. Assault rifle I'm keeping. Trip blade. I'm not really doing a lot of two handed melee, so that can go. And uh, the hammer can go. But I'm keeping the assault rifle and hunting rifle. Here, piecemeal. Yeah, I don't need this as extra. Okay. As for repairs. That's a huge repair bill. I'm not going to pay that. Not a chance. Pistol. Uh, I want to get a little bit of energy cell firefly, of course. I'd like mag pick. And weapon parts, huh? You know, buy these shunts. Oh man, that stuff's so expensive. Uh Hunter Kit. Weapon skills. Oh, Mr. Acid. <laughs> that seems cool. Now, there's a bunch of stuff here that seems pretty cool. But uh, he's given me some good information. We gotta go to this tower, right? That's, that seems like the place to be. You think corporate's ever gonna visit? I'm not holding out hope. You were 99 cheered 50 bits. I'd like some gourmet salt too. <laughs> this church? Space church? As long as it's not the unitologist, I guess it's alright. Work fortifies the spirit. Oh boy. Capitalism Space Church. That's unfortunate. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you around here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. 
wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. Oh, that could be interesting. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Let's have a chat with these two. Work fortifies the spirit. That's not useful. Not remotely useful. Vicar Max. Our place in the universe is fixed. Let's find out about space, capitalism, religion. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison, anything at all. Spiritual counseling, this season's tossball predictions, the quickest way out of town. How about... Space parts. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Oh, I'm, I'm fine. I just... Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Oh, I like the sound of that. Now you're talking my language. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out. And, um, your discretion. It's porn, isn't it's it, Vicar Max? It's a handwritten journal. A faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? <laughs> You mean this book? Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I... Wait. What the fuck is this? Is this... French? <laughs> I can't fucking read it. <laughs> it's a law-forsaken joke is what it is. French. Ha. I was so high and mighty, preaching to the yokels about following the plan, while fighting it at every turn. I've spent my life searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to oh find the God. damn thing. All the time and This game is excellent. Wasted. <laughs> oh, no, no, I don't have a... Oh, I wish I had an overlay to put, like, the GTA wasted over that screen. Or don't. I can't do it fast enough. Oh, well. Bokono, the author, had some interesting theories about man's perception of reality that I thought could be applied to our attempts to decipher the plan. Unfortunately, he was also one of the founders of the Philosophist School of Thought, so the book is banned in this colony. Is a philosophist anyway. Philosophism's a false religion that stands in contradiction to almost everything we know to be true. They believe all is chaos, in stark contrast to OSI's belief in the plan. Oh, so it's the Gaians and the Messiahs all over again. The version of Bakonu's thoughts came more than a century after his death. Please. As if my life should have no greater meaning than proselytizing to a bunch of feeble-minded wretches. <laughs> yeah, Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next Aetherwave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to find a translator, obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Yeah. Certainly. 
I already gave you most of my money, but I can offer you free spiritual counseling, and I'd be happy to watch your back. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand, if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. Alright, so... Oh, I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. We got this priest. Who, uh... Who can, you know, the next time the copier's on the fritz and I need to take it out into a meadow and beat the ever-living tar out of it, this is the man to, gum th to go to. Feels good to be a gangster, doesn't it? Let's go. Fantastic. Let me get my things in order and I'll catch up with you. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Alright, so I guess I got a party member. And a, and a level. Alright, uh, so now that we've got a party member, let's get some of these, uh... Let's get some leadership. Get that up to 20. And I'm thinking... Alright, we're not quite... Oh! Maybe I should be using my long gun, huh? If it's got uh, this on it. Yep, it, it does look like it's the classic. You know, th these are my skills. Please add me to team. I was trying to think of where I want to put these last few things. Uh, dialogue has been serving me very well so far. There's been a lot of uh, a lot of things that I can do here. Dialogue, tech, get a few more points in dialogue, I think, and that seems good. No perk till next level, though. Combat dialogue ability. I'm attacking the correct type of. They're automatically debilitated. Companion abilities. Command your companions to use their special abilities on the enemy you're targeting. Companion 1 ability, companion 2 ability. Well, that's easy. Easy enough. Alright, so what did I unlock? Let's see. Oh, wow! Look at all that experience! I'm just about to get another level! Ooh, that's good. Uh, let's see, Spacer's Choice. They kind of like me. Yeah, so there's... Uh, some of the dialogue abilities do things when you hit enemies of certain types. So 20% chance to make somebody cower if they're human. Scramble. 15% chance automaticals will slowly attack other enemies instead of you. Creatures will become terrified and flee if you kill one. That's really neat. Okay, so uh, next I gotta find power regulator still. Can I get Vicar Max on my team? The region. Fast travel to Edgewater. What's this? I guess that's a bench. I want to go back to the ship and, uh, well, this is the ship. Yeah, I want to go back to the ship. And do a little bit of weapon tinkering. And see if I can get old Vicar Max to, uh, to help out. Although I wouldn't be surprised if the game wants you to do the first main quest thing with just yourself.
Man, it's 10.30 already? Man, I've just been losing... I, I've, I really got lost in this... Uh... In this game. Let's see if Ada can help me. What can I do for you, Captain? Goodbye. Uh, Ada is not useful in the slightest. Alright, uh, workbench. Modifications. Install your mods, select the item you want to upgrade. Uh huh. Weapons and armor can be modified, but mods can't be removed once they're used. Everyone who wants a personalized weapon, just like everyone else. Okay, uh, let's install a mod. Ah, none of mine will work. Let's install a mod here. Can't mod a sword. Pistol? No. Assault rifle? Yes. What is this? Is this a long gun? It is. So I've got a couple long guns. I think we're going to use them. Oh, this already has one. Okay, but I can put an extendo sight on this as well. So let's do that. Great. Up on my armor. Stealth skills plus five. I got nothing there. Tinker. Oh, this is nice. I can just spend a little cash. Or I'll tinker that. Tinker this. Tinker that. And maybe this. Spend a little cash there. It doesn't really do anything on my armor though, huh? Alright, well I probably want to repair stuff. Oh, this needs weapon parts. I don't have those. They were really expensive. That's fine. We're going to use some new stuff anyway. Always break things down to parts. Eh. Oh well. See if the good reverend has found himself a room. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Where has he gone? Is he just chilling? Rick or Max, where have you gone? Uh, I'm not really seeing him. So I guess you have to do the first mission alone. Gotta pick locks in my own place? That's a little unreasonable. Gotta save these lockpicks for robbing the townspeople or something like that. Alright, 
let's uh, head back to Edgewater. Uh, I actually think I might, uh, mm. I need to switch my weapons around is what I need to do. So I've got one that uses light, and we'll get some, oh no, not this, uh, assault rifle, shotgun, hunting rifle. Now I don't know that it's particularly bright to have all of these weapons equipped at once, but that's not going to stop me. What is going to stop me is that uh, I, th I think it's getting to be bedtime. But yeah. Space. It's pretty cool. This game, uh, so far, ooh. So far, it's everything that I have uh, wanted it to be. And then some. <laughs> that, <laughs> that French thing was just, it was really funny. <laughs> And I'm glad that they still got that charm from New Vegas going on. Ah, yeah. That was, that was a lot of fun. So I don't know how much I'm actually going to be able to uh, stream this versus play it on my own, but I, I will try to... You know, maybe I'll start a separate file like I did with Link's Awakening, and I'll have like a stream file and one that I can just play on my own. Something like that. But yeah, it's space. It's great. And unfortunately, capitalism finally got there and ruined everything. So we'll, uh, we'll have to ruin it back another time. But coming up in the future, uh, if I am sober on Halloween, we can maybe do Luigi's Mansion 3 for a little bit. And then after that, it's it's a very busy November. There's all sorts of things I want to do in November. I want to do Ocarina of Time, since it's the anniversary month of that game. And we've got uh, the Star Wars Sekiro game, Jedi Fallen Order. And all sorts of other good stuff that I can't even think of, because November is absurdly packed with games. I'll have to work it out later. It's uh, it's It's too late for me to do brain things. So have a good night, everybody, and I will uh, see you next time.